Macaulay Culkin, one of the most famous American child actors, was born on August 26, 1980, in New York, USA. He was the third of seven children in his family. His parents were Patricia Berenthup and Kit Culkin, who was a former manager and stage and child actor. McCulkey, known as Mac to his friends and family, started his career in show business at the age of four. He performed in several off-Broadway productions, including the New York City Ballet and The Nutcracker. By the time he was eight, he had received positive reviews in The New Yorker and The New York Times for his roles in the film Rocket Gibraltar in 1988 and See You in the Morning in 1989. Do you have a house? Apartment. On a rent? Rent. What do you do for a living? Lots of things. Where's your office? I don't have one. How come? I don't need one. Culkin received a $40,000 royalty for playing the role of Miles. The film did not gain much popularity, but the young actor was noticed by John Hughes, a producer and screenwriter, who later invited him to star in the film Home Alone. Hello. Few people know, but the idea of the film came to Hughes just on the set of Uncle Buck. It dawned on him during a scene when Macaulay Culkin's character was talking with a potential nanny through a door crack. That's how a scene with robbers climbing into the house through the dog door appeared. After it, the whole subsequent story of the movie Home Alone was written. Despite the fact that Macaulay was the main contender for the role of Kevin, the director of the project, Chris Columbus, still decided to hold a casting just in case. But after listening to hundreds of children, he was convinced that no one could play this role better than Culkin. Macaulay's father, whose enterprise later played a cruel joke on him, also managed to get the participation of his youngest son, Kieran, in the film. He came up with a touching story about the strong attachment of two brothers. The producers had no choice but to give Kieran the role of Cousin Fuller. It was with him that Kevin did not want to sleep because he wet the bed. Fuller, go easy on the Pepsi. His breakthrough performance, however, was as Kevin McAllister in the 1990s box office smash Home Alone, with almost $285 million in box office revenue in the U.S. alone. The film shot to the top of the box office history and elevated Macaulay Culkin to the status of one of the biggest stars of the era. Culkin received a $100,000 royalty, which was an incredible amount for his family. Little Macaulay turned from an unknown boy into a star and lost his childhood forever. He presented the film on red carpets, gave endless interviews, and received new offers from directors. Culkin achieved what many aspiring actors had been dreaming about for years at the age of 10. He was too young to understand what the consequences would be. Seeing that a promising actor was growing up in the family, his father began to represent the interests of his son as a manager. My father was overbearing, very controlling. He was always the way he is, even before my success. He was not always a good person. He'd play mind games to make sure I knew my place. In addition to working on films, Macaulay Culkin, now known all over the world, continued to play in the theater. Tickets for his performances rose sharply in price and were sold for several months in advance. Offers began pouring in for the young star. In 1991, Macaulay appeared in a small role in the Chris Columbus comedy Only the Lonely. In the same year, the melodrama My Girl was released. There, Culkin played the main role, which brought the actor $1 million. We should say that it was that film where Macaulay's first on-screen kiss with the young Anna Klemski happened. The actors received for it an MTV award in the nomination for Best Kiss. That award did not correspond to their age, but who cared? Both children were only 11 years old at the time of filming. Um. Before Macaulay Culkin became a successful child actor, the Culkin family lived a very different life. His parents, Patricia and Kit, raised their seven children in a small apartment, and Kit was a sacristan at the Catholic Church. The apartment had one bedroom, with bunk beds for most of the children, and a bathroom had just one door. Macaulay Culkin's adult life has been as unconventional as his childhood was busy, but did you know it hasn't all been smooth sailing for the former child star? From tragic losses, repeated heartbreaks, and vicious rumors, keep watching to learn the tragic life story of Macaulay Culkin. 
Macaulay Culkin and his six siblings grew up in a cramped New York City apartment, with all seven kids sharing bunk beds in one room. Culkin told New York Magazine the apartment resembled a long hallway and didn't even have doors. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Culkin's mom, Patricia Brentrup, answered telephones for a casting agency, while his father, Kit, worked at a Catholic church so his children could attend school there. Despite Macaulay's larger movie earnings, the family didn't quickly change their lifestyle. Macaulay Culkin suggested in New Yorker magazine that his father used to keep control. Macaulay's trouble with his father, Kit, didn't stop with nights spent on the couch. When Macaulay felt about his father, Kieran Culkin and Macaulay have continued to speak out about their father's alleged mistreatment and abuse. On WTF Podcast in 2018, Macaulay suggested his father's actions were driven by envy. He talked about quitting acting following a sting of box office disappointments. He even taunted his parents, telling them he was done acting and wished they had all made their money since he wouldn't be doing any more. Quote, no, I was not pounding six grand of heroin every month or whatever. The thing that bugged me was tabloids wrapping it all in this weird guise of concern. No, you're trying to shift papers. He also says the public was not necessarily right to worry about him after photos surfaced in 2012 of his shockingly slim figure. Since he wouldn't be doing any more. A few years later, he entered a guilty plea to a misdemeanor drug charge, already appearing thin and hollow-eyed. However, he was since furiously denied the notions that he was using $6,000 of heroin per month. Here's how Macaulay Culkin's life turned around. When he was at the peak of his stardom, his connection with fellow superstar Michael Jackson was among the few things that truly offered him solace. When he was at the peak of his stardom, his connection with fellow superstar Michael Jackson was among the few things that truly offered him solace. Following Culkin's appearance in Jackson's black or white music video, the two grew closer. Ready? Let's set, go. You cheer! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh! He cheats a lot. <laughs> but he's fun. He loves to have fun. Uh, I first met him, he kind of called me randomly, like out of the blue. He was just kind of like, hi. It's Michael. I'm just like, hey. And the thing this is, was we, after Home Alone. This is after Home Alone. I actually had met him before I was doing um, Nutcracker at Lincoln Center. I was playing Fritz, and he came oh, backstage one day, and I, I actually met him very briefly. And he kind of recognized me because it was after I'd done Uncle Buck. And so. Mac have had quite an extensive relationship. Is this true? Yes, I've known each other for um, four years now. Four years? Four or five years. How did you guys meet? We met. When Jackson was accused of abusing Macaulay, Macaulay steadfastly denied Jackson by providing testimony in 2005 trial that resulted in Jackson's acquittal. Even after Jackson's death in 2009, Culkin, being the godfather of Jackson's daughter, Paris, and son, Prince, did not stop supporting the late Michael Jackson, although he steers clear of the subject whenever he can. Said it's unfortunate and you know it's it's a circus right now you know i don't know it's just it's a little crazy and i kind of have taken a step back from the whole thing because it is a bit of a circus and you know if the same thing was happening to me i wouldn't want to drag him into it and vice versa so i try my best to keep a distance from it but like if i said he's still a friend of mine a character witness would you appear um i guess so but i don't I, I probably not i mean like i said it's crazy and i don't really want to be a part of it After Macaulay Culkin arrived and left the courthouse here in Santa Maria with very little fanfare, his testimony didn't last too long. In a very clear and strong voice, he told the jury, Michael Jackson never touched him inappropriately. He also said, quote, I never saw him act improper with anybody. Culkin did face a somewhat aggressive cross-examination by prosecutor Ron Zonin. Culkin did say yes, he shared a bed with Michael Jackson, but he described it as more like falling asleep on Jackson's bed. The prosecution then attempting to try and suggest that perhaps Jackson... Macaulay just celebrated receiving his star on the renowned Walk of Fame with his lovely wife and two kids. He even gave a speech in which he expressed his gratitude to his wife while crying. Even though Culkin's most popular and recognizable character is unquestionably Kevin McAllister, he has acted in several other roles. Culkin made experimental cinema appearances in 2010s, including The Wrong Ferrari, even started his own podcast, Funny Ears. However, it was his performance in American Horror Story in 2021, which earned him overwhelmingly positive reviews that propelled his comeback into the limelight eye. 